another video update from the Fire Brigade Union. We're at the head office in London and we're here joined by John McGee, who is an FBU national officer, to discuss changes to the way members are being asked to pay their membership fees. So John, what are these changes and what do members need to do? Our members will no longer be able to pay their union subscription directly from their salary. They, so what will change is that they, they will stop paying it from their salary and that money will now go into their bank account with the rest of their salary. We now need them to change over to a direct debit method of payment, which means it will then come from their bank accounts to the Fire Brigade Union. So in the next uh, coming months, we're, this is over uh, being rolled out across the whole of the UK, so in the coming months each member will receive an envelope similar to this at their home addresses. And the contents of the envelope will be a return address envelope where it's prepaid so there will be no cost to the member to send the form back to us and, uh, and the most important part in the form uh, in the, the envelope will be the direct debit mandate form. This will come, this will come as a, 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 an A3 document so on one side we have the direct debit mandate which we require the member to complete their bank details uh, and sign the, the form to authorise us to take the payment on, from a, on a direct debit basis from their bank uh, each month. If a member has a joint bank account where it requires the, the joint signa signatories in order to set up a bank account, we need our members to make sure that in the appropriate box both signatures are there in order that the mandate would be active. The final change we will take care of because we are asking our members to complete the other part of the form, which is the, the check-off cancellation form. So each member, if they fill that in, we will then be able to tell their employer at the appropriate time when to cancel the, the check-off. We, th we believe that the timetable of the government is, is roughly a year. Mm. So within the next year, we will start taking the direct debit payments. That may be... Uh, starting from around April or May, it may uh, be a bit later in the year, depending on where you are in the country. We're also asking uh, our members to give us the information of uh, a, a private email address, if they have one, and a mobile telephone number. As a result of these changes, we now need to record the workplace that uh, each member uh, has. So mm -hmm. if they're based in a fire station, we need to know the name of the fire station that they work in. Uh, or a headquarters or a control room, they need to tell us where they work. And why are all these changes coming about now? The, the, this government, this Tory government, have introduced a trade union bill. It's passing through Parliament at the moment, uh, and that bill is going to take away the right of local authorities to apply the check-off method of, of payments mm -hmm. to trade unions. So we believe that it's, it's doing that to make it more difficult for unions to be organised. It's more difficult for our members to protect their working conditions and to stick together. Hmm. They, they understand that this whole, this whole process of changing people over from check-off on to direct debit is going to be time-consuming, it's hmm. going to be a, a, a difficult process uh, just to, to manage. And they know if we're doing these kind of things, then we're probably not working as hard as we can for uh, our members. So we need this to be as quick and as smooth as we possibly can in order that we can concentrate on, on protecting our members. What are the implications for members if they don't switch to direct debit? The, the employer uh, in the coming year will be told that they can no longer legally take that, that, direct, that, that check off. So immediately when you've stopped paying, we're already making an assumption that you no longer want to be part of a union. So if a member was injured or needed legal advice, then there's a possibility that we wouldn't be able to provide it because they, they may not be paid up members. Mm. So it's really important for uh, our, our members to maintain their payment. Find all the relevant forms to switch to direct debit on our website, which is fbu.org.uk. You can also follow us on Twitter for updates, and that's at FBU National. And you can also like us on Facebook by searching the Fire Brigade Union. Thank you. Thank you.